What message is there for Cancers? Welcome, Cancers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys today. This is going to be for the month of January, okay? Keep in mind, these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Cancer. Take what applies and leave what doesn't. All right, if you don't have any, if this doesn't resonate with you at all, okay, you can check your moon and your rising signs as those videos have posted, all right? So, oh yeah, keep in mind as well, too, that the energies can be vice versa, okay? Vice versa energy. Any messages for Cancers? Cancers, I feel like there is some communication getting ready to come through, or there is some truth that is getting ready to be revealed. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. I see, ooh, love begins, Ace of Cups. Someone is going to be expressing themselves, okay? Someone is expressing themselves, all right? Someone is going to be communicating, opening up about a decision that they have to make or you feel like you have some decision that you have to make, okay? You're maybe feeling like you need to be more in control, okay? You could be dealing with the Aries, but you could be feeling like you have a decision that you have to make, okay? Maybe it's a decision between two people, two things, to cities, whatever it is, someone, you guys could be feeling like you have a decision that you have to make, okay? All right, so let's go. Bottom of the deck, we have obstacles and challenges, all right? And then look at you guys, this energy here. Oh, okay, definitely try to move forward past these obstacles okay so there's an obstacle possibly in your way it could be in regards to finances or it could just be a challenge any type of challenge i definitely see you guys trying to move past i mean really moving fast some of you guys are even contemplating moving possibly out of town um far away distance or um i'm also picking up because triumph card here is the chariot card which is cancer's card and accelerated motion is things picking up okay so i'm definitely picking up you guys are trying to find some way to get over get out of a bad situation or some type of hump all right we got the triumphant success okay so it looks like you guys are trying to progress and get ahead okay this is also this sword here is also about truth Okay, so there could be some type of information that you're trying to get together. Um, you could be doing, you know, some type of research on something. Or there is some type of truth that is getting ready to come out or some truth that you want to speak. Okay. We have emotional withdrawal. Okay. So maybe you decided that you're going to walk away from a situation that no longer serves you. Okay, you're going to be emotionally detaching yourself from the situation and then we have transformation okay maybe you feel like you need to do make some changes okay or something needs to end i'm most definitely picking up on an ending okay because we have the transformation and the emotional withdrawal and the transformation card is is the same card as the death card which is about endings and with this emotional withdrawal this is like the eight of cups energy walking away from something okay so it looks like communication could be coming in someone could be expressing how they possibly you know want to be want to walk away from a situation want to turn their back on a situation um but there possibly is a need to kind of end something or you know make some type of changes here is what i'm picking up as well Let's look at the challenges. What could be in the way, okay? Let's see what could be in the way. And let's see what we can get here. What are the challenges for Cancer? Show me the challenges for Cancer for January, please. For Cancer, please. All right, so we have six of earth, all right? So this is about give and take. Maybe you feel like a situation is one-sided, okay? Maybe you feel like you're giving more to the situation than the other person is. You may feel like this, you know, the situation is just unrequited, okay? 
I feel like some of you guys want more. Okay, I feel like this is a wish fulfillment for you to have more from this person. You want this person to give you more. What other the message is there for cancer? All right, we got the 10 of water, okay? So this is most definitely about a relationship, okay? This is the 10 of cups. This is the energy that everyone is looking for, okay? So maybe you want a relationship with this person, okay? It could be a fire sign. We got page of fire, which is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, but this is definitely like communication coming in, okay? Good news, exciting news, Um I feel like you're waiting for communication about about a relationship or about moving things to the next level. It's like you're waiting for some type of um, waiting for some type of communication. Okay, let me get one more card, please, for Cancer. Give me one more card for Cancer, please. Ooh. All right. We got the Ace of Water. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. So you may want this person to show you more emotion. You may want more emotion from this person. You may want this person to express their emotions um, in a more clear sense. You may be wanting to restart a relationship, okay? We got the Emperor and the Eight of Water again. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries or someone that's very headstrong and logic and is very disciplined. And this kind of energy reminds me of Leo as well. But we have the Eight of Cups here. So someone is like, could be walking away or you feel like you have to take control of a situation and walk away. Or you're blocking, trying to block someone from walking away. Um, but I feel like... Okay, we got King of Earth, okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male energy. This person could be providing you with stability here or you providing them with stability. But we most definitely have that Ace of Water. So definitely, I feel like you guys want some type of commitment. Want this? Want to either rekindle a relationship or you want a relationship from this person. But the issue could be that this person, you possibly are giving more to the situation or they feel like they're giving more to the situation. And it could be in regards to financial, um, you know, money or gifts in that sense of nature, okay? All right, so... I want to see how they feel about you. Reveal to me how they feel about my cancers, okay? Reveal to me. They I feel like some of them, they could be feeling like they're making an effort you know, but there's something, uh, their guard is up about something, okay? They feel like, they could feel like you're being controlling, okay? I feel like they do think about the passionate moments, oh, that you're codependent upon them sexually, all right? They want to express this to you. They want to express this to you. They are going to express this to you. They are going to talk about, they are going to have this conversation, okay? They're going to have this conversation with you very soon. Okay, let's see. How do they feel about cancer? All right, there we go again. We got pay attention to the red flags. All right, the signs are cautioning you. All right, see, this is like a breakup, get back together type thing because we have reconciliation and we have separation here as the two cards under the deck. So with pay attention to the red flags, they're noticing that there's a cycle going on here. It's what I'm picking up. And the cycle is toxic, okay? It's a toxic cycle that you guys are possibly going back and forth in. 
Okay, give me another card. How do they feel about cancer? Ooh. Oh, we got deception. Okay, so they could be feeling like you're wearing a false mask. Okay, that you aren't being real. Okay, because we have unrequited love. Oh, I'm getting like, they feel like the situation is in balance, but they still decided to give this a chance anyway. Okay, so they're saying that it's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this going, but somebody here still wants to work on a partnership. So maybe they feel like, you know, this, maybe we can work on, we got some things that we need to work on. And I feel like someone feels as if they can't trust you or they feel like you're wearing a false mask. Give me one more card, please. How do they feel about cancer? We got release your ex, okay? So this happens and this comes out when they feel like they have to release someone. It could be an ex or they could be feeling like, you know, if we don't get this thing together, then this is what I'm going to have to do because we got to stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like they are still, you know, being optimistic about it and still want to put in some effort, but there could be some flirting going on. They could be flirting elsewhere. Okay. They could be, um, you know, flirting with other people. Let's see what's going on. Let me grab some clarifiers and we're going to get into it. All right, so we pay attention to the red flags. Please give me a clarifier for pay attention to the red flags. Nine of Cups. I feel like they are tired of some type of back and forth. Okay, they're tired of some some back and forth game that's being played. Um, it's what I'm picking up here. Okay, why is deception here? Okay, somebody, most definitely, okay, somebody got their feelings hurt really, really bad here. But what I'm picking up is, why is the death card here? You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Why is the death card here? They don't want, I feel like they don't want to lie to you, okay? They don't want to lie to you. And they hope that you aren't being a liar. But I feel like they know that you want some type of commitment or you want things to be done traditionally. Someone here is a player. Someone is always in and out. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We got temperance. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Okay. Why is release your ex here? They feel like they could they could make it being single, okay? And they could be feeling like you have them trapped, okay? Keep in mind, like, they, they, I feel like their guard is up, and I feel like they're afraid of being trapped. So, they could be feeling like, you know, they want to be single. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands. Okay. What advice? Let's look into advice. What advice is there for cancer, please? What advice is there for cancer? All right. We have busy times and multitasking. So take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. So I feel like the angels are staying, are most definitely wanting you to focus on being busy, keeping busy, okay? For some reason, I'm picking that up. Like, to not put all your focus on what's going on in this situation. To make sure that you're keeping yourself busy so you won't get too drawn into one thing. Okay. 
uh, we got divine intervention. So God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Okay, give me one more card for cancers, please. So we have love life, okay? So new or renewed romantic love is here for you, all right? And for, on the bottom of the deck, we have balancing masculine and feminine energy. So allow your feminine side to, to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence, okay? So this is about having a balance, okay? Having a balance of being feminine and your masculine traits, okay? All right, my loves, I hope these readings were helpful. All right, until next time, my loves, ciao for now.